Welcome to this introductory video of how to use self decode for the first time. We'll briefly cover logging in, uploading your genotype file, entering your symptoms and conditions, and then selecting which file you want to use for analysis. Okay. So, beginning with the home page, we go to the login and then enter your email address that you use to register on the website and your password. Uh, and then just click sign in and you arrive at the dashboard. This is found underneath your username dashboard. So these are my files. I currently have my 23andMe file added, but we're going to upload another file. So you can either do that by the upload file button to the left or to the top right of the blue box. Right. So here we have the upload genome file option some links to how to get your data from Ancestry or 23andMe.com and the types of files we currently support. If you click on Upload Genome File, this will take you to a file browser and you can locate your genotype file. Select it and click on Open. This upload process might take a few minutes. I've edited it here. Um, but then you'll get taken back to the dashboard and you'll see that the processing of your file has begun. So my sample genotype file is just underway. The processing can take a few minutes depending on server load. So this is now 11% and just while we're waiting, we'll go to my symptoms and we'll add symptoms and diagnose conditions. So to add symptoms, you click on the box and there's options. So airway constriction is an issue and asthma is something I've had a problem with. You can look through them. We're going to add more and more to these. So brain fog. And when you add a symptom that has information about it, say groups on forums or posts written by different users, they'll pop up on the right. So just keep walking through. Identify all things that are relevant to you and keep adding them in. We, this will be expanded upon. Again, see with the addition of fatigue, you can tell that it's another group of another forum to join. The number of symptoms will expand over time as we introduce more and more symptoms and create associations. Uh, also, we have the diagnosed conditions. So for myself, this is asthma, but there are plenty more to choose from. And, and this is an ongoing project, so many more will be added. All right. Once you've finished adding our symptoms, we can then head back to the dashboard and check in on our file, 28%. I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this, this still might take five minutes when you do it, but it depends on server load. So once it's finished, you have the options of changing between files. So you can remove the file that's not currently being used. You can rescan files so that new information that we've uploaded can be included, or you can select the file. So the selected file is highlighted in blue, and that will be what you'll be using for your analysis throughout the rest of the site. Okay, thank you.